Today we are going to learn how to create our digital signature with just one click. So let's get started. First of all, you need a photo of your sign and I'm using this photo where I sign on back of a visiting card and I also suggest you to do the same because the border of the card will help us to straighten the image. As you can see, our image is in perspective view so we are going to straighten it up. For this, go to filter, click on camera raw filter, expand the geometry panel, click on guided tool, draw guides on top section. Then the bottom part. It will straighten the image horizontally. Similarly, we are creating two more guides to straighten it vertically. Click OK. Now take the crop tool and make a selection of the card only. Click on Take. Now our image is ready. Let's create an action for it. Go to Windows, Actions. Create a new set. Name it Digital Signature. Click OK. Create new action. Name it Convert to Digital Signature. Start recording. Now it will record each step we take here on. Right click on background layer. Layer from background. Click OK. It will unlock the background layer. Now add an adjustment layer of black and white to make the signature black and white. Now while holding Ctrl, select both layers. Press Ctrl E to merge them. Press Ctrl J to make a duplicate copy of this layer and set the layer mode to overlay. Create two more copies of this layer. We actually want a white background with prominent black color on it. Now while holding Ctrl select all layers and press Ctrl E to merge them. You can see the signature is kind of dull at some places so we are going to darken it more. Now add an adjustment layer of curves. Add two points in the curve panel and Try to get the black in a more prominent way and make the white more brighter. Until you get rid of white inside the black, just adjust the points. Now this is looking better now. While holding control, select both layers, press control E to merge them. When we zoom the image, you can see the edges of the signature is not so smooth, it's very, it's very zigzag. So we are going to smooth them. Go to filter, stylize, oil paint. Increase the value of stylization to 9.3. By checking and unchecking the preview option, you can see the difference. Now the edges are a lot more smoother than before. Click OK. In some places outside the stroke, you can see some shadows, so we are going to remove them also. Create a duplicate copy of the layer. Set the layer mode to Linear Dodge Add. Duplicate again. Now select all layers and press Ctrl E to merge them. Now the result is looking good, let's make a vector of it. Go to select, color range, click on the white background, set the fuzziness level to 58, click OK. Select the marquee tool, right click, select inverse. Now the signature is selected, right click, make work path, click OK. Add adjustment layer of solid color, choose whatever color you want. For the timing, we are choosing black. Hit OK. Select the bottom layer and fill it white. Rename it as background. Select color fill layer and rename it as digital signature. Let's give them colors of red and gray. Now go to action and stop the recording. Let's play the action on the image. Open the image and play it. As you can see, we have created with just one click a vector digital signature. So, means we can change its color, resize it to any size we want. I hope you learned something new in this tutorial. And if you do, hit the subscribe button. Tell me always in the comment section how was the tutorial. You can also check my other tutorials on Photoshop Actions. I made tutorials where you can save a ton of your time. Let's meet on another great tutorial for the time being. Goodbye.